Design Advisor Analysis provides feedback on the design, including nominal wall thickness, draft angle, and undercuts. A Design Advisor Analysis shows areas on the parts that are likely to cause problems. Design problems can affect the pressure, temperature, shrinkage, warpage, cooling time, and sink marks on a part. The part that I'll be working on today is this GPS housing. You can use the Design Advisor analysis to check the geometry of a model to find fillets or areas of thicknesses which may cause problems. In order to run a Design Advisor analysis, click on the Analysis sequence, uncheck whatever is selected, and check Design Advisor, and hit Analyze. In order to save some time, I already have some results ready, so let's take a look at those. The Design Advisor analysis gives you results for nominal wall thickness, draft angle, and undercuts. It's a very easy way to see if your part design follows the recommended guidelines. First, let's take a look at the draft angle. This result shows the degree of draft on a part. Without the correct draft, it can be very difficult to eject from the mold. The sections on this part in red would need draft added because right now it's at zero. Ideally, there would be at least one degree of draft to aid in ejection. Now let's take a look at the undercut results. The undercut result shows undercuts as well as shadowed features on surfaces that have a draft angle of at least one degree. An undercut is a feature in the part design that would prevent the part from releasing out of the mold. On this part, I would want to redesign this red section because it would cause the mold to be more expensive and more difficult to maintain. Lastly, let's take a look at this nominal wall thickness. Ideally, parts should be designed with uniform walls in order to avoid warpage or surface defects. Variation in part thickness may cause flow variation such as race tracking or hesitation and may result in excessive warpage. The nice thing is this thickness plot shows it in percentage bands, so you can easily see if a section is thicker or thinner than the nominal wall. It also allows you to put it in values, which is what I prefer because I like to know the actual thickness on the model. On this part, the areas that are red are thicker than the nominal wall. In order to avoid part quality problems, this section should be cored out. I have a fill pack warp analysis ready, so let's see if there's any problems that are associated with this thicker section. First, let's take a look at this quality prediction. Cooling time is too high, there might be packing problems. So thicker sections are not able to be cooled and they have packing problems. Let's see what kind of problems we see in the results. Let's take a look at time to reach ejection temperature. Here on this part, the section is 30 seconds, whereas the overall part is around 15 seconds. This would cause differences in shrinkage. If we look at the volumetric shrinkage here, you can see that this has shrinkage percentages of around 9%, whereas the rest of the part is around 0 to 5%. Differences in shrinkage will also give you problems containing warpage. And lastly, if we look at the sink mark estimate, we're able to see that you may get sink marks because the part is not able to be packed out as well. Design Advisor can save you time by helping you predict problems that will occur before having to run an analysis.